Heidi Ho, Canada, it's me, Tyler Labine. You may or may not recognize me from such TV shows as Invasion, Reaper, Sons of Tucson, but you might not recognize me at all because even though those shows had great critical acclaim and cult followings, they were canceled! All my shows get canceled, I'm fine with that. I'm totally cool with that. And also Mad Love, that was Axe too. Forgot about that, but anyway. We all know that good shows that are too funny for TV, they all get axed way too soon. And here is a list of my top five-ish. All right, number one, Arrested Development, obviously. This is the magic trick, huh? Illusion, Michael. Mm. Trick is something a whore does for money. It was a classic case of a show being just way too smart and too good for TV. The cast was incredible, the storylines were amazing, and the critics loved it. But sadly, it wasn't selling enough toothpaste. No ratings equals <laughs> the big old ax. All right, number two, Freaks and Geeks. This early Judd Apatow project still seems ahead of its time 12 years later. In my opinion, it's probably the most accurate portrayal of high school life ever. Are you guys going to the homecoming dance? No, I, I really don't see that happening. And talk about a career launch pad. I mean, it had Seth Rogen, James Franco, Jason Segel, plus it had our very own Joe Flaherty. Jimi Hendrix, you know what happened to him? He died choking on his own vomit. Three, The Dana Carvey Show, also light years ahead of its time. Why this show was canceled after seven episodes completely baffles me. Well, why wouldn't you run? You ran in 92. I did not run in 1992. I was born in 1993. The cast, mind-blowing. Steve Carell, Stephen Colbert, Robert Smigel, and, and don't even get me started on the writing. The writing team is like the comedy version of the Justice League of America. Charlie Kaufman, Louis C.K., Dino Stamatopoulos. TV execs can suck my d Number four on my list is My So-Called Life. For a teen drama, this show covered some pretty serious terrain. It dealt with issues like homophobia, homelessness, violence, censorship, and it did it all without feeling like some schmaltzy after-school special. Hey, come on, party! <laughs> What's your problem? Okay, now last, but certainly not least, is number five on my list, This Is Wonderland. I was so bummed when this great Canadian show got canceled. I mean, it, it, was, it was that rare creature among Canadian TV where it was, it was dramatic without being maudlin. It was funny without being corny. Plus, it was realistic and it was well acted. I mean, what else do you need? Why would he want to do that? How am I supposed to know that? You're his lawyer. You know, in all honesty, it was no Night Heat. But hey, remember Night Heat?